So I know so many of you are tired of this classic old Nvidia Shield TV screen that has the adverts at the top. It's super annoying. Not a lot of you actually want it. You want a simple designed interface. And that's why today we're gonna to be going over how to install a new launcher on your Nvidia Shield that make things just a little bit easier to use. And it's super easy to install and follow along, guys. So make sure you stick around for the full video so you can get a launcher like this that makes things extremely organized, neat, and easy, where you can create folders, where you can create categories, and where all of your apps are in one simple place. Now, if you're new to the channel, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button right down below. It takes two seconds and it really helps my content out a ton. As well, give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you comment down below which launcher is your favorite for NVIDIA Shield. We're gonna be going over a few simple ones today. Let's go ahead and get into today's video. All right, everybody, and we're gonna be walking through step-by-step step how to do this tutorial. It's not gonna take long. If you wanna see the RIN tutorial, so you don't wanna watch this video, you can go down below in the description. There's a link to my website, upgradeguy.com. You'll see the NVIDIA Shield tutorial link. And as well, if you wanna to enter to win our giveaway for a $100 Amazon gift card, I do it every single month. You can go ahead and go to upgradeguy.com slash giveaway and just enter to win. All you have to do is enter your email, and then you can also get other uh, entries just by using YouTube and stuff like that. So it's up to you if you want to do that. Uh, but obviously it also, I appreciate people doing that because I like uh, doing these kinds of giveaways for you guys. So let's go ahead and get into the launcher tutorial guide, which I think is what most of you want to see at this point. Um, so let's walk through all the simple steps and I'll kind of teach you how to do it. So the first thing you're going to have to do is go to the app store. So we're going to go to the Google play store. And we're going to select the downloader app. Now, if you don't know what downloader is, it's a very simple, easy to use um, browser that basically prompts downloads. Um, very, very simple. Uh, so let's go ahead and install it. It's just downloader by AFTV News. Usually once you type in the first two or three things, um, it'll pop up. It's the orange app right there. You guys can see it. So all you're gonna do is press install. Now, if you have an NVIDIA Shield, it is gonna ask you to install a plugin when you open it for the first time. Just follow the instructions. It literally takes like two or three seconds to do. No rush, easy to use. Now, we're not gonna open this yet. We're actually gonna press the home button and go back to our main screen. And we're gonna go to the top here and we're gonna go to our settings at the very top. And we actually have to access something called developers mode. So you're gonna go to device preferences. You're gonna go to the about section. And then you're gonna scroll all the way down until you see your uh, build number. And we're actually gonna click on that two to three times until it says you are a developer. Now you can see it says I'm already a developer, but if you haven't done this before, you're gonna need to continue to press it until it says you are a developer. And this lets you access a secret menu on your Nvidia Shield that lets you access um, different options. Now, you do not wanna play around with these too much. There's tons of stuff you can um, mess around with. If you do wanna mess around with it, go ahead and do so at your own risk, but make sure you check off what settings you're changing so you can always go back and rechange them. Um, so you can see there's some like stay awake, um, there's Bluetooth, stuff like that. But the one we need is actually right here, which is network debugging. So you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and check off network debugging. So you can see mine is blue now, now it's off. You want it to be blue just like that with the yellow, with the, the circle to the right. Now, once we're done that, we can go ahead and press the back button, go all the way back. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the downloader app that we talked about a little bit earlier. We're gonna press allow, we're gonna press okay. Now for your convenience, I actually created a downloader code that brings you directly to my website to make it super simple and super easy. That way we're not typing in a whole uh, address. And that code is 773-820. So it's that simple guys, type that in, and this is gonna prompt and bring you directly to my website, upgradeguy.com. Now you can see it just takes a few seconds, no rush, we're just gonna chill. And here we are. Okay, we are on the downloads page now. Now the first thing I suggest is you go to this top right corner, and what you're gonna do is click on that, and then I suggest adding this to your favorites. So you're gonna click add current page to favorites. 
That way you can easily access my download page from your favorite section on your, let me, let's do this right here so I can give you a little demo, add it to favorites, right? Downloads, upgrade guy, save. That way next time you're on your NVIDIA Shield, you can go to favorites, we can go directly to the downloads page and it will bring you right there. You don't need the code, it's that simple. And then of course, if you still wanna enter that giveaway, you can do so directly on your NVIDIA Shield just by going to this top left corner, clicking on it and going to the giveaway section and that will make it easy for you to access the giveaway page. Now, there's a few different files we can install here. You see we have Launcher Manager, Wolf Launcher, APK, and ATV Launcher. Now, you can install, install any of the three of these, but you need to install them in pairs. So for ATV Launcher, you can use that just by itself. So you can go ahead and click on the blue section of that, which is the hyperlink part, and install that. And you can use that one directly by itself. You do not need the other two apps. Now for Wolf Launcher, you need Launch Manager and you need Wolf Launcher. So I suggest installing all three of these because I'm gonna be walking you through how to set up and use them. So once again, just click on them, click install when it prompts you, and now let's go ahead and get into how to use these different applications. Now before we go any further, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you about one of our sponsors, IPVanish. Now IPVanish helps to protect you while you're online by pretty much hiding your IP address, even from your internet service provider. That way nobody can see your data while you're online. Now it's a very simple and easy to use service. And if you go down below in the description of this video, you're gonna see the link here that says unlock your streaming services because it does also help you unlock services such as Netflix, Prime Video, Disney Plus, all of that good stuff. As well, you can use VPN split tunneling, which is a really, really great feature. So go ahead and click that link and you can get the best possible deal right here, guys. Uh, it works on Fire Stick, NVIDIA Shield, PC. It really doesn't matter. Press the Start Now button, seven, $3.75 a month or $10.99 a month, depending if you get the yearly or monthly plan with a 30-day money-back risk-free guarantee. That's right. You can cancel and get your money back within 30 days, no question asked. So that's IP Vanish, guys. Do you need to purchase it? Not necessarily, but is it a great product to purchase? Yes, it is. And more and more people will be using VPNs in the future. Let's go ahead and get back into using the Shield launchers. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the three different launchers we installed. So here we have ATV launcher, well, two launchers. Then we have our Wolf launcher, and then we have our launcher manager. Now, the first thing I wanna look over is ATV launcher. So go ahead and click that, and this will load up the ATV launcher right away. And you're gonna see here it is, simple, easy to use, all your applications in one place. You can see them all right here. It really is that, that easy. So you can click on them, you can use them like normal. Now, if we hold down the OK button while we're hovering over an application, you're gonna see an application menu pop up. And here is where if we click move, we're able to move around these applications so we can sort them really nice. Then you can just press the back button. Now, if we hold it down again, you can press configure. Now here you can change uh, things such as display mode, right from tablet to there. Uh, there's a few other settings you can play around with, not with this uh, application, of course, but this would also allow you to add uh, image backgrounds and stuff like that as well. So cool little trick there. And if we hold down again, we can actually create a folder. Now here, if we type in uh, TV, so say TV apps, so such as Netflix, Prime Video, right? And you can see the keyboard works perfectly fine inside, which is a nice feature. We can press apply. Also, you can password protect, by the way, just in case you have some adult apps. And then here you can click and drag stuff into that folder. So we have IMVD. We're going to go move. Uh, sorry, we're going to go wrong button there. Move to folder. And then you can put that in TV apps. And now when we open TV apps right there, everything nicely sorted in our folder. And then of course you have your launcher settings as well, which is like wallpaper, applications, widgets, hidden apps, um, you know, just in case. If you wanna hide certain apps, uh, that would be up to you. Uh, and then your Android settings, which just takes you to your Android setting menu, uh, which is of course, if you wanna access that. That's, that's really everything for the ATV launcher. Now, when you want to exit, you just double tap the home button and then I just exit out of it by closing it. And it's that, that easy. Now, as for Wolf Launcher, we need to go and open up Launcher Manager. And then from here, we wanna enable custom launchers on this device, and then press Allow right here. Now, we wanna click back, 
and we could see app launcher or wolf launcher has been installed we're going to go ahead and open it up and it's going to spoot up the wolf launcher right away now this is very similar to atv launcher um but a few different options now here it is everything in here just like before now when we hold down the okay button you can see there's a couple different settings in here such as other settings as well you can uninstall apps directly inside instead of having to go into the settings menu as well you can still move the apps you can still configure them you can also look at app info which brings up the shortcut directly to the app so nice little shortcut feature there um, if we go to other settings you can see that brings us to allow wolf launcher to access your uh, media and stuff so we're going to press allow on that um, and that's really everything guys that that's everything for the wolf launcher you can see here backup restore um, clear right so if you want to play around with your wolf launcher um, it's that easy so you can see you can change the logo as well when it boots up um, which is really cool so yeah guys that's really everything that you have to learn about wolf launcher it's that simple that easy to use make sure you check out my website for that giveaway and go follow me on twitter at upgrade underscore guy thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one